Today, we're diving into a world that's built to stay hidden, a place without a map where finding anything specific feels, well, almost impossible. We are, of course, talking about the dark web, and we're gonna crack open the toolkit investigators use to find their way around. So that's the big question, right? You hear these stories about journalists or researchers pulling incredible information out of this, you know, anonymous labyrinth. How do they actually do it? It's not like you can just Google it. It's more like trying to find one specific sentence in a library where all the books are blank and the lights are out. Well, the truth is, there's no magic find secrets button. The real answer is a methodical process using a whole suite of powerful and often free tools. Professionals use this collection to navigate, to analyze, and to connect the dots that no one else can see. And today, we're going to open up that exact toolkit for you, piece by piece. Okay, before we jump in, we need to get one key term straight, OSINT. It stands for Open Source Intelligence. Now, this isn't about hacking or cracking passwords. It's the art and science of being incredibly good at finding and more importantly, understanding information that's already out there in the public domain, even if that public domain is on the most hidden corners of the internet. Every single investigation has to start somewhere. And when it comes to the dark web, that first step is just finding the front door. This first phase is all about discovery, about that initial reconnaissance. So how in the world do you find those weird looking dot onion addresses in the first place? Well, you start with a search engine that's actually built for the job. And for most investigators, that first stop is a tool called EMEA. So what makes EMEA so special? I mean, why not just use Google? Because it's designed from the ground up to crawl and catalog the hidden services on the Tor network. But honestly, its most important feature might be its focus on safety. It actively filters out a lot of the most dangerous and illegal content, which lets you explore without accidentally stepping on a landmine. It just gives you this clean, simple way to find links that would otherwise take you days of manual searching to dig up. But what if you just need to do a quick search? You know, you don't want to fire up the whole Tor browser just to check on a lead. That is where a tool like dark.io shines. Think of it like a little porthole into the dark web that you can peek through using your normal, everyday browser. It's perfect for that first quick look. So here's the key. You have to know which tool to use and when. This little chart breaks it down perfectly. EMEA, which you have to access through the Tor browser, is your go-to for serious, deep investigations. You get that curated index, you get the safety filters. Dark IO, on the other hand, is all about speed and convenience. It's for grabbing those initial leads before you decide to go all in. They do different jobs, but both are absolutely crucial. All right, so you've used a search engine, you've got a site that looks interesting. The initial recon phase, that's over. Now the real analysis begins. And this is the next big hurdle. I mean, having a dot onion address is one thing, but understanding what's under the hood, how the server is set up, what its weaknesses are, what secrets it might be hiding, that's a whole different ball game. How do you basically perform a technical audit on a hidden service? For that, you turn to a tool called Onion Scan. The best way to think about it is like putting on a pair of x-ray goggles for any dot onion address you find. You just point it at a site, let it run, and it starts performing this incredibly detailed scan to see what's really happening behind the curtain. And this is where things get really interesting. See, onion scan is designed to look for mistakes. It hunts for server misconfigurations, for exposed status pages that just spill technical details, even forgotten developer keys. And here's the kicker. In some rare but absolutely critical cases, a badly configured server might actually leak its real IP address, which completely destroys its anonymity. It can also spot technical similarities between sites, helping you map out entire hidden networks. Okay, so analyzing a site's technical setup is one thing, but what about the actual content? Imagine trying to manually click through and save every single page and file on a huge forum. It's just, it's not possible. You need an automated solution. You need a robot. And that robot's name is Torbot. And the process is super straightforward. You give Torbot a starting address, you tell it a few keywords you're looking for, maybe a username or a specific phrase, and you just, you set it loose. It will then crawl the entire site on its own, downloading everything it finds. What you end up with is a private, offline copy of the target site that you can analyze safely whenever you want. This thing saves literally hundreds of hours of mind-numbing work. So far, we found our sites, and we've scraped all the data. But right now, that data is just noise. It's a huge, messy pile of information. This next phase is all about turning that raw data into actual, actionable intelligence. It's about finding the hidden connections. 
So as you're collecting all this stuff, where do you even put it? How do you possibly keep track of what you saw, where you saw it, and exactly when? The professional's answer is a tool called Hunchly. And trust me, it's so much more than a note-taking app. It's a purpose-built evidence collection machine that lives right inside your browser. Hunchly just runs in the background, automatically capturing a perfect copy of every single page you visit. But here's the critical part. It creates a timestamped and cryptographically hashed record. That's a fancy way of saying it creates ironclad proof that your evidence hasn't been altered. You can also tag what are called selectors, things like email addresses or crypto wallets, and Hunchly automatically flags them for you. It literally turns a chaotic mess of browsing into a structured, verifiable case file. Now remember all those files Torbot downloaded for you? Well, those files can have secrets of their own hidden inside them. To read that hidden data, you need a very specific tool, and the absolute gold standard is called EXIF tool. It's designed to do one thing, extract metadata, that's data about data, from pretty much any file you throw at it. And listen, this is not an exaggeration. An operator can take insane precautions to hide their server, but then they upload a single photo without stripping its metadata. EXIF tool can pull out the exact camera model, the precise time and date the photo was taken, and sometimes the holy grail, the GPS coordinates. That can pinpoint a real-world location. It's a classic mistake, and it happens more than you'd think. Now, let's zoom out a bit. Investigations don't just stay on the dark web. Often, you'll find a username or an email, and you need to see where else it appears on the regular internet. For that, you unleash Spiderfoot. It's an open-source powerhouse that automates OSINT gathering across more than 100 public sources at once. It finds connections you would never, ever find on your own. For the real power users, the ones who need absolute control and customization, there's Recon NG. It's less of a single tool and more of a complete framework. It's all command line based, and it lets you build your own investigation workflow by chaining together different modules for different tasks. It's incredibly powerful if you know what you're doing. Okay, by now you have a mountain of data. Usernames, sites, wallets, emails. It's overwhelming. How do you see the forest for the trees? How do you find the really meaningful connections in all that noise? The answer is visualization. And the undisputed king of OSINT visualization is Maltego. And this is where the magic happens. Maltego turns a boring spreadsheet of data into an interactive map of your investigation. You can start with just one thing, say a dot .onion address. You run what's called a transform and boom, it finds a Bitcoin wallet mentioned on the site. You pivot off the wallet and find a username associated with it on some forum. You run another transform on that username and discover it was part of a data breach, which links it to an email address. All of a sudden, you have this beautiful visual chain connecting a hidden service all the way to a real-world identifier. It's a total game-changer. We've just gone through an incredibly powerful suite of tools, but using any of them comes with some pretty serious risks. And that brings us to what is, without a doubt, the most important part of this entire toolkit, the foundation of your own security. This is the question you absolutely have to ask. When you are exploring these kinds of environments, using these tools, how do you protect yourself? How do you make sure your own identity, your own location, your own computer doesn't get compromised? Because one simple mistake can expose everything. The professional solution isn't just an app you install or a VPN you turn on. It is a fundamental shift in how you work. You have to operate from inside a dedicated, secure bubble that is built from the ground up for privacy and anonymity. And that bubble is Tails OS. The name literally tells you everything you need to know. The Amnesic Incognito Live System. It is a complete operating system, just like Windows or Mac, but it runs entirely off a simple USB stick. So, let's break down why this is the gold standard. First, because it runs off a USB, it's completely separate from your computer's main hard drive. It can't get infected, and it can't be traced back to your normal machine. Second, and this is huge, it forces all internet traffic, every single app, not just your browser, through the Tor network. There are no accidental leaks, period. And finally, it's amnesic. That means when you shut it down, it intentionally forgets everything you just did. Every single trace is wiped clean. It's like using a brand new anonymous computer every single time. Woo! Okay, we have covered a ton of ground here. From finding sites to analyzing them to visualizing the data, all while staying safe inside a secure operating system. We've really opened up the entire toolkit. But you know, the tools themselves, they're only half the story. This right here is the most important thing to remember.
Having these tools is one thing, but using them comes with a massive responsibility. You have to be ethical, you have to be legal. But even more than that, any seasoned investigator will tell you the most important tool they have is their own mindset, always being careful, being methodical, and being constantly, almost paranoidly aware of the digital tracks that they themselves are leaving behind. And that's where we'll leave it, with one final thought for you to take away. We've spent all this time talking about tools that are designed to map out the digital lives and footprints of other people. It's a pretty powerful reminder to maybe take a moment and consider our own. In a world where our data is literally everywhere, what story does your digital footprint tell about you?